Hey beauty, we are back in my bathroom. I've got my hair dye t-shirt on and we are going dark for the fall. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra and I post lots of DIY hair videos with a little bit of fashion and beauty in between. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, hit that subscribe button down below to join the fam. Let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by Color & Co by L'Oreal. Y'all, this is a personalized hair color system. I get a ton of comments from people asking me what they should put in their hair to achieve a certain color. I don't really have the knowledge to be giving out you know, recommendations. I just like to share what I do on my personal hair, hoping that it will help you guys out. But Color & Co, they can help you with that. With Color & Co, you're able to get on a five minute video chat phone call and talk to a professional where they can recommend a personalized hair color system. So my whole kit is personalized for me. It has personal personalized instructions. You can also get a subscription of this if you're someone who likes to do root touch-ups, if you have grays or you're lighter and you go darker, whatever the case. There are two different colors and she was able to explain this to me on the phone and just let me know there's gonna be two colors in here. Apply the roots first and then the ends last. She also told me how long to leave it on, but it does have it right Right here in print as well. It also has the personalized instructions on this side. It tells me what everything is here and everything else that's included in the box. And then on the back, it does have the ingredients list. And this is a L'Oreal color brand. So you know it's gonna be high end, high quality color. Let's go ahead and get into the cut. Here is my inspo pick. So it's basically what I have now, except with some curtain bangs. I do have a slight bang, but it's like really thin. I'll probably add some layers in here just to give me some volume up at the top. The shag haircut is so trendy right now and I'm into it. We are gonna start with a middle part. I'm trying to start right here at my temple. Is that too much? I feel like that might be too much. But let's just part it so it's even. Okay, it's pretty even there. That's a lot of bang. Am I the only one who feels like one side of my head has more hair than the other? I have my regular straight edge hair cutting scissors. I'm gonna take this to the side, just like this, line it up with my jawline. I'm gonna start cutting here. I do like to start a little bit longer because I am not a professional, so I take off a little at a time to get to the length that I want, making sure that both sides are even. So we're just gonna take our time with this and slowly cut at an angle. Okay, yeah, those are still too long. Okay, I'm just gonna do this side. Just making sure that they look the same. Okay, so you want it to swoop down like that. And I do like to cut my hair dry just so I can see how it's gonna look at the end. I'm actually gonna take these shearing scissors and I'm just gonna shave off the ends here and I'll probably try and blend some of this hair as well. Just down like that. Just so this front layer is face framing. And I'm kind of just starting to create these layers now, I think, because I want them to kind of blend with this. I don't want really harsh bangs. I'm just gonna start on the top, cutting at an angle down like this, creating a layer. This is also just kind of thinning my hair out at the same time.
I'm really liking it. I just got to add some layers in here to kind of blend it. So I'm gonna take this section already see this shorter layer right in here so I'm just gonna even that out I'm still using the shearing scissors just because the cut isn't as harsh as regular hair cutting scissors it just helps me not make too many blunt cuts I feel like this is a good short layer I'm gonna go ahead and blend these layers all together if you want a more in-depth layering video I do have one in my hair playlist I actually have several and I use the same technique every single time I'm gonna use that same technique today so I will link that down in the description box below let's get this haircut done so we can get into the color I had to style my hair because honestly halfway through I started regretting life choices but I've got some short layers in there. I'm liking what it's doing right now. I actually already have the first color mixed. I'm making an Instagram reel at the same time, but basically you just take the color one, pour it into the developer, shake it, and then you have the little bottle. What I'm gonna do is go straight down the middle. This is the color that's supposed to go in my roots first. So I just squeeze it out as I go down the top of my scalp and then I'm just gonna blend it down and then I'm just gonna use that bottle to get to all of my roots I feel like this is the fastest least messiest way to do this and then I just take my fingers spread it backwards And you can kind of feel if your whole scalp is wet or not. There's that first side done. I'm gonna repeat on this side. And I'm squeezing as I'm running the bottle through my scalp. And then just brushing back. Okay, so right here is where I just kind of take my time on the top. Make sure that the whole hairline is dyed. Now I'm gonna go underneath and just doing the same thing, squeezing as I go. Squeeze and apply. The other side, starting at my ear. We haven't gotten the bottom part of the roots yet. So we're gonna take the color in the bowl. Just going to paint it down so that it meets my bleach hair. Time to start on the bottom layer. Taking the first layer, I'm gonna start where the dye ends and I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit and blend just like this. Ah! Just got some hair dye on my floor. Once I'm done with this side, I'm just gonna twirl this so it doesn't get blended. Okay. 
Now I'm just gonna start on the back layer. My hair is all done. I'm just gonna run a brush through it. Make sure that all the strands are saturated. And then I'm just gonna pull it up. Hey Siri, set a 20 minute timer. 20 minutes, counting down. I'm actually going to use this stain eraser. You can also use conditioner, it's what I usually use. I'm going to wash out like normal. It is such a drastic change, but I am so, so happy with this color. It looks amazing. My hair feels nice and healthy again. And I'm really glad that I did also do a trim in my layers because it feels light and bouncy again. Also adding in these curtain bangs. It's giving me major Kourtney Kardashian vibes and I am a-okay with that. How fun is this cut in color? I will say that if you are going from light to dark, make sure to keep some of your hair dye just in case you get a little bit of patchiness. Sometimes the color doesn't get all the way on one strand and I did notice some patchiness in my bangs right here where it was the lightest. So I just went back with some unused hair dye, left it in for 10 minutes and it's a nice even color now. Be sure to check out Color & Co did offer me a coupon code. I will leave it right here on the screen. It gets you $5 off your own box. Chatting with a professional and doing all of that consultation beforehand just helped me feel so much more confident going into my hair dye today. I will leave the link down in the description box below. This breeze is getting out of control. Thank you so much to Color & Co for sponsoring today's video and Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this change because I'm really liking it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.